This is the book of Ephesians chapter six, starting off at verse one. Children, obey your parents in Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. Double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Akium out there on the highways and the byways. Salutations to the hopeful elect. Salutations to you speckled birds, you Israelite foreigners. And Shalom to the Akwaf sitting and listening in silence as the scriptures say to do so. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 1, and it reads this. Children, obey your parents in Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, for this is right. Honor thy father and mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on earth. <coughs> now, as you see on the screen, man, you see the the father, you know, uh, the father, you know, going on to his son, to his son, man, passing that knowledge, man. OK, you have to see these things in the spirit. OK, you see you see the uh, the the eldest father passing his knowledge to his son and you see uh, uh, the the uh, son passing that knowledge to the son coming up, man. OK, so, you know, we're supposed to honor our fathers, man. OK, of course, our mothers, too. But this is going to be focused on uh, the man for this lesson. And, you know, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Rock Desire will be edifying and uplifting to the truth of the Aki and Wa'akwaf, man. So we're supposed to teach our, our children, our customs, our history, etc., man. But we're now being awoken to that uh, history and our customs. So, you know, it's a blessing for a man to have... Uh, you know, instead of me speaking it, let's go in and let the Bible speak. You know, I'd rather, I'd rather let the scripture speak it and then me to uh, butcher it. So this is uh, a, <clears throat> this is the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, 25, verse 7. There be nine, so I can, there be nine things which I, which I have judged in mine heart to be happy. And the tenth I will utter with my tongue. A man that have joy of his children and he that liveth to see the, the fall of his enemy. So we're going to take the joy of the children out on that precept, man. Because not a lot of uh, uh, men in this truth have the joy of their children. Okay, you know, you, you might have some of your children still in the world, but still, you know, respect you. And, or you might not. You know, in my case, my children are in the world. I did everything that I could for my kids, but you know. They wanted to follow after their mother. They wanted to believe everything that their mother said and her family. So, you know, it's part of uh, also the, 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 the vision that Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai is bringing forth in our nation too, man. And amongst all, you know, uh, uh, nations, man. So, you know, I'll have them back in the kingdom. But back to the, to the subject at hand. We're supposed to edify our children, man. To let them know our heritage and our customs. Let's get that real quick. This is the book of Psalms. Chapter 78, <clears throat> starting off at verse, verse 2, and it reads this. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known, and our fathers have told us. Because, you know, as the scriptures say, man, give me one second. Let me grab this, man. You know, this is the spirit, man. You know, because I got a few precepts written down, but Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is directing me to bring out these ones right here. Okay. I'm going to start off at uh, Sirach chapter 8. I'm going to start off at verse 8 and end off at verse 9 because this is all beneficial to this uh, lesson. Despise not the discourse of the wise. So your father is supposed to be uh, 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 wise to you young men. It's your father is supposed to have that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding from up high, okay? That was given uh, uh, to him through his father by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Despise not the discourse of the wise, but acquaint thyself with their pro proverbs, for of them thou shalt learn 
instruction in how to serve great men with ease. Miss not the discourse of the elders, because, you know, once you come up, your father's going to be an elder to you. OK, his father, etc. man. OK, and furthermore, Salak, and furthermore, to be honest with you, even before your father gets a, of an old age, your father's an elder to you. Salak, forgive me for that. Miss not the discourse of the elders, for they also learned of their fathers and of them that shall learn understanding and to give answer as need required, man. OK, so your father's supposed to, you know, enlighten you with this stuff. So let's jump back to Psalm 78, man. OK, uh, verse two from the top. I will open my mouth in a parable. I will utter dark sayings of old, which we have heard and known of our fathers have told us. OK, because, you know, your father's supposed to have that blueprint, supposed to give you guidance, supposed to give you knowledge, wisdom and understanding. OK, your father's supposed to be well mastered and, and, and in tune with these scriptures. Your, your father's supposed to know the righteous path. To, to walk in the eyes of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and in the instructions, in the guidance, to, to be obedient. Okay. Verse four, we will not hide them from their children. <clears throat> so like it, <clears throat> we will not hide them from their children, shewing to the generation to come and praises of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai and his strength and his wonderful works that he had done. For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded of our fathers. So it's a very important role to be a man and not only a man, but an Israelite man. OK, a descendant from Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, man. It's a very, very. A uh, 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 task to a. Uh, 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 be a man and an Israelite man because you have responsibilities that, that are uh, grafted to you, okay? For he established a testimony in Jacob and appointed a law in Israel, which he commanded our fathers that they should make them known to their children. So yes, the mother is the first nurturer, the first teacher, but you get that real understanding, that real knowledge, that real wisdom from your father, man. Because that's, that's who Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai is dealing with, man. Point blank, period, man. And again, man, I hope and I pray that this is edifying and uplifting to you, true sincere Akim. As a matter of fact, man, like I said before, man, if you, Akim, have, you know, your kids and your kids, you know, send them this lesson, man. Okay? Make them known to their children that the generation to come might know them, even the children which should be born. Who should arise and declare them to their children? Now, again, our customs have been taken away from us. You know, we haven't we we didn't have this knowledge, wisdom and understanding. We didn't have the enlightenment of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. But now we have been awoken. We have uh, had that breath of life breathed back into us by Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. So everything is being brought back to remembrance. OK, all that knowledge is being sparked up. OK, that uh, a light switch in our brains have been turned on. And we just hope and pray that Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai doesn't blow that 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 candlestick out or turn that light switch off. OK. But now, you know, we're, we're doing everything that we can do to teach the, 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 the masses of our people the right way. OK, because what does the Lord do before he destroys a, a captivity that we're in? He informs our people. He warns our people. He edifies our people. He gives our people a chance to repent, to come back to him. And we're telling you, you know, our customs. We're telling you the prophecies. We're telling you the warnings. We're telling you everything, man. Okay? We're not leaving nothing. What did, what did you Paul say? Let's get that real quick. Instead of me saying, let's, let's, let's get what Paul said real quick. Because what I'm speaking is of the scriptures, man. Okay? <clears throat> All right, this is the book of Acts, chapter 20, starting off at verse 26. Wherefore, I take you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men. And we can account for that. OK, we can account for that because this gospel is going across the, the four corners of the earth. 
We don't have to pick up and go get these damn incisions and go to different countries. And you know what I'm talking about, that, 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 that sticker. Okay, now nah, we use the, uh, uh, the unicorn, which is the internet, which, cre which was created by an Israelite man uh, 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 for Yahweh Hashem Yahweh gospel to be preached. That's why the internet was made, man, for you to be condemned, man. Okay, for this gospel, this truth to get out. Okay, so we can be in whatever city, whatever country we're in, and use this resource to, to warn, uh, uh, edify, condemn, and, and hopefully, you know, uh, 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 seal the elect through the power and spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Not of us, through Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Verse 27, for I have not son to declare unto you all the counsel of the Most High. So we give you everything. We don't leave nothing out. Okay? We give you everything. Verse 28, take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the Holy Spirit have made you overseers, and that's what we are, man. The prophets are overseers. We're watchmen, okay? And that's what we do, man. To feed the church of the Most High, which he have purchased with his own blood. And that's what we're doing, man. Every time we do a lesson, every time we go out to the highways and the byways, we're feeding you, man. Whether it be sweet to you in your belly, or whether it be bitter, and whether it be sour, whatever the case may be, man, Okay? So if it's going to be sweet, then maybe the Lord might be, you, you, you might have a chance of the Lord waking you up and saving you. But if it's going to be bitter, then hey, man, it is what it is, man. But let's jump back to Psalms 78, verse 7. That they might set their hope in the Most High. So our kids are supposed to believe in Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh by Yahweh Shah. But, what, but as you see right now, because the times are getting worse, man. People are, are lovers of their own selves, disobedience of parents. Okay, bringing forth, you know, disformed children, wicked, uh, brute beast children out here on the streets just being straight fake thugs and murderers and uh, robbers, etc., man. So our people don't have that, uh, 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 they don't have a spirit that's resonating with righteousness, that's, re that's resonating with Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, it's resonating with Esau, okay, the, the ruler of this uh, 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 rulership right now. That they might set their heart, so like that, 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 that they might set their hope in the Most High, and not forget the works of the Most High, but keep His commandments. And they've forgotten all the works which we profess and proclaim through all matters of lessons, and they they don't they damn sure don't acknowledge the law, statutes, and commandments, man. Okay, not even those wacky tacky slave plant, plantation Christians, man. Okay. And that's something that we have to teach our young men. Okay, and, and we're doing it, man. And so with us doing, you know, doing that, what else what else must we do? And what else our, our kids must do? Let's continue on, man. And again, I hope this is edifying, man. Because we're gonna get directly to the points, man. This is the book of Colossians, chapter 3. And I'm gonna read verse 20. Children. Obey your parents in all things. But what but what is happening right now in society, man? You got the children disrespecting big mama, disrespecting nay mama, disrespecting nay daddy if he's in the picture, if he's around. Okay? You got the children disrespecting the school system. You got the children disrespecting the police. These children have no regard for order, for structure, for anything. Okay? I, I saw a video, so like I saw a video. Uh, from that lady, uh, I want to say her name was, what was her name? Um, was it, uh, Dee Dee, that lady named Dee Dee, uh, uh, you know, she's an Israelite woman. And she was showing a video where, uh, you know, the, these two Israelite, uh, uh, parents was giving their daughter a vehicle. And I'm pretty sure you brothers might have saw it too, you Akiyam. The first video, it was, it was, this is the second video. Let me say this real quick, because this, this makes, this, this is a clear example of what I just spoke. The first video, they tried to give their daughter a Tesla now, I didn't really see that video, but, you know, obviously she, you know, she, she had an attitude about it. She wanted a Mercedes. So the second video, they took it back and her father was like, since she wanted to be ungrateful, they got her a Chevy, some type of Chevy, a Chevrolet, whatever, whatever, whatever they call it, a Chevrolet, some type of uh, four-door Chevrolet sedan, you know, old school, you know, not too old, but uh, like a, 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 a 2015, but I, for, I, I forgot the model type. But uh, basically, she came outside and she was like, where's the Mercedes? You know, basically talking big shit to her parents. She kicked the car and her mom was like, you kick, you kick that car again. I'm, 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 she said, I'm, you kick that car again, I'm going to do something. She kicked the car again and was talking about the car. 
And then before she went in the house, she said, I hate y'all. I hate y'all. Don't you ever speak to me again. This and that. Like, like she's like, she's a fucking Edomite. That's Edomite shit. What do you think our people are getting these, these uh, 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 characteristics, these attributes, these, these uh, 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 ways to act from? They're getting them from these fucking Edomites, man. I, I was looking at this shit like, man, that's a pure fucking Edomite, man. That's, that's, that's what an Edomite would do, man. A so-called white person, man. Tell their parents they hate them and don't talk to me. But so like it, man, that had to be said, man. Colossians 3 verse 20. Children, obey your parents in all things. For this is well-pleasing. Unto Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai. Now, did we not read in Ephesians 6, verse 1 to 3? That's just that's just supposed to obey your parents as the first commandment, so you can have a long life on the earth. So those, so why do you it's a lot it's amongst not just that reason, but also others too. Why do you think the Lord's slaughtering our, our children left and right? Why do you think he's putting these kids to death left and right? Whether they be six months, one day, one day old, uh two years old, whatever the case may be, man. Okay? Because don't forget the Lord also requires that which is past, man. Okay? So again, Colossians 3 verse 20. Children, obey your parents in all things, for this is well-pleasing unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh So if you don't do that, what does that mean? Because the Lord the Lord is, is, is highly suggesting and telling us to whoop your ass. Let's prove it. But now in these days, you got the kids want to call the police, CPS, all that, man. But what does Yahweh about Shimi Yahweh say? Proverbs 13, verse 24. He that spareth his rod hateth his son. So you sparing that, that correction, that, that uh, 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 a rod, whether it be a, a, a switch, uh, uh, the back of a shoe, the belt, your hand, whatever the case may be, you sparing that, you don't love your child, man. Because uh, I'm going to tell you like this, man. I got a lot of ass whoopings, man. Okay, and after I after I got to a certain age, when I when I wasn't able to get ass whoopings, I started getting hands thrown to my body, man. Whether it be my face or my chest, man. <laughs> and look at me now, I can I can say right now, I don't, I don't have a a, a a a a record. I don't have any felonies or nothing like that. <laughs> Never been to jail. Okay, so like I've been in holding stuff like that, but I've never served time in jail. Okay. So, hey, look, man, it goes, it goes a long way. He that spareth his rod hateth his son, but he that loveth him chasteneth him be time. So you have to correct your son. You have to whoop that ass, man. Okay? Period. Because what, what else What else did the Lord say? Let's continue on. Let's go to Sirach real quick. Let's see what else we have about Shin Yahweh says, man. And this is all out of love, man. We do this because we love you, man. Okay? This is the book of Sirach, chapter 30. Verse 10, love not, so like you laugh not with him, least thou have sorrow with him, and least thou gnash thy teeth in the end. So, of course, you know, it, that doesn't mean, you know, to be, you know, uh, uh, mean and have no excitement and have no life in you. Of course, you know, you're going to have moments in, you know, raising your kids that you're going to have moments, you're going to have joy with them, you're going to have laughter with them. But it's just saying, you know, to walk in wisdom. Okay. Walk correctly, man. Don't don't make your kids think that everything is a joke when it comes to you, man. Let's say that. Don't make your kids think every time you want to correct them or chastise them or put or get them uh, 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 straight. Okay. Don't make them think that it's a damn joke, man. That's why every time you should not be laughing with your child, man. Like I, I can see if you're doing something with them that's that's exciting, like you know maybe watching a movie or playing ball or. Whatever the case may be, something that's like, you know, it's going to bring laughter. That's that's acceptable. But to to uh, constantly, you know, always have a smile on your face and be playing around with your kids is not good, man. Especially not in these times. Laugh not with him, least thou have sorrow with him. And least thou gnash thy teeth in the end. Give him no liberty in his youth and wink not at his folly. So don't give him too much liberty to go do what he want, man. You're supposed to have rules for your kids. You're supposed to have structure for your kids. Your kids are supposed to obey what you say, man. And you're not supposed to be just, you know, I'm going to give you a pass for, for, for doing it. Uh, I'm going to take it easy on you. Hell no, man. You're supposed to be, uh, 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 what is that word that they say, man? Uh, strict. You're supposed to be strict on your kids, man. And that all comes with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. 
And especially not not just with your daughters. You're not you're not you're only supposed to be strict. You're supposed to be strict with your sons too, man. Period, man. Both of your both of your kids, man. Whether it be female or male, man. Verse 12, bow down his neck while he is young. That means beat that ass. Okay? Correct him. Don't, 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 don't uh, give him a pass on an ass whooping. Whoop his ass, man. Okay? Bow down his neck while he is young and beat him on the sides. So I'm not just talking on my rear end. I'm telling you what the scriptures say. And beat him on the sides while he is a child. So if you already starting this while he's a child, when he comes to that, that age of being a man, which starts at age 12, he already going to know that you ain't a joke. Okay? Now, even though I'm having, you know, a hard time with my kids and everything else, and my kids are grown men. So even though, you know, they chose what they chose and they basically disrespect me, but they won't do it to my face. They won't step towards me. They won't come at me because they know for a fact of what I'm capable of doing because what I've already done to them growing up. As far as, you know, chastising them, whooping them and everything else, you know, being strict with them. They know they can't play the same nonsense and games with me as they can with their mother and her family. OK. While he is a child, least he wax stubborn and be disobedient unto thee and so bring sorrow to thy heart. And, and that's what you're seeing right now, man. You're seeing a lot of stubborn, disobedient children, man, walking on the earth right now, man. That the most high Yahweh Shin Yahweh is putting the death left and right, man. Period, man. Period, man. Okay? Because right now the Lord has awoken his prophets and he's giving you this knowledge, this wisdom, this understanding. So with you children, man, you really should be taking, especially if your father's in his truth, you should really be taking heed to, you know, every, you know, the Lord chooses who he's, who, who he's going to wake up. We can't choose, you know, I, I would love for my kids to be in the truth and, you know, hopefully to, to see them work towards salvation. But, you know, as far as right now, I don't see it. You know, I don't see it. I would love to see it. But, hey, man, it's, it's the Lord's will. It's his, it's his choice. He created everything. But I know at the end, I'll have them back in the kingdom. And I'm I'm OK with that, because, again, Philippians 2, verse 12, seek out thy own salvation with fear and trembling, man. OK, point blank, period, man. And the Lord, the Lord could have, could have literally gave you kids just to judge and bring those kids back through your line. Okay. And again, we don't know what, what anybody has done in their past lives, man. Okay. So your kids could be literally back here for judgment, man. And that's something that you have to accept. Let's continue on. This is the book of uh, Proverbs 23. Proverbs 23, starting off at verse 13. Withhold not correction from the child. Okay, because if you withhold that correction, what's going to happen? What, what, what do the other precepts say? They're going to be stubborn. Okay, disobedient and bring sorrow to thine heart, man. So your, your kids are going to be a disgrace to you, man. It's going to make your name. It's going to he's going to bring a disgrace to your name, man. Okay, so if, if you don't do this, withhold not correction. From the child, for if thou beatest him with the rod, he shall not die. So you giving your kid an ass whooping, correcting him, he ain't gonna die, man. Yeah, he'll he might be upset with you, he might feel some type of way toward you for that moment. But at the end of the day, man, once he gets of age and he becomes a man, he's gonna understand why you did that, man. He's gonna understand that, man. There's been plenty of times that I got uh, butt whooped. I got man, I got butt whoopings by my mom, my aunts. My uncles, okay? And I understood why I got them back then. Because contrary to, to popular belief, these kids know what the hell they're doing, man. Okay? Period, man. Our, 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 our people are not remedial, man. Verse 14. Thou shalt beat him with the rod and shall deliver his soul from hell. You shall deliver his soul from judgment, man. Lord willing. Deliver his soul from uh, 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 affliction, from uh, 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 being put in the grave for the things that he might do in the future, man. From judgment. From falling, to the, from falling into the hands of Yahweh Shem, Yahweh Shai, man. Okay? 
And this is righteous and balanced in the eyes of the Lord. This is what the Lord told us to do to our kids, man. So you not being able to, to chastise, to whoop your kids, man, is completely out of order, man. Okay, and, and, and this is just amongst a lot of stuff that Esau has to pay for, man. Because he's giving these uh, 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 kids the ammo to do. Let me get this real quick, man. Another scripture coming to mind. Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, Hashem, Kakadash, Barakata. Isaiah 3. I'm going to start off at verse 4. And I will give children to be their princes, and babes shall rule over them. Because the kids have more damn uh, privileges and, and freedoms than, than the men, especially the Israelite man. Okay, but once that kid comes of a certain age, oh, that's gone. You, you, you in the same category, especially if you were a, a, a boy, an Israelite man, you're in the same category as your father. But while you young, you'll have privileges to go against your father. And, and your mother. Verse 5. And the people shall be oppressed, every one by another, and every one by his neighbor. The child shall behave himself proudly against the ancient, and the base against the honorable. And that's what we see, man. We see these children being very prideful, being very, uh, uh, having no integrity. Behaving uh, uh, rec or rec recklessly, okay? Behaving very, very recklessly, okay? Completely out of order. And this is what we have to deal with right now because, again, we're here in Babylon to uh, suffer our correction, our punishment, our chastisement from Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, man. Point blank period, man. But this is what's going to be applied. And, you know, Lord willing, we won't have to do this to our kids in the kingdom because why? We're going to be in order. We're going to have the law, statutes and commandments in our inward parts. Now, who was to say we might not have to, you know, you know, uh, whoop our kids uh, uh, a couple of times while they while they coming up? Who's to say not? But we'll see in the kingdom. But let's continue on. Let's go back to Sirach chapter 30. Let's read verses one and two. He that loveth his son causeth him off to feel the rise. So, man, look, man, again, you can't um give him no passes. You can't give him no, uh, well, you know, since you said this, blah, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm going to take it easy. You know, man, he that loveth his son causeth him off to feel the rod that he may have joy of him in the end. And that joy is of him being coming up right. Not going to jail, not getting a record, not being disobedient and out of order, unruly, having a, 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 that knowledge, wisdom, understanding, knowing our customs, knowing how to, you know, uh, uh, present itself to the uh, uh, masses and to the world correctly. OK, and amongst other things, too. Verse two, he that chasteneth, so like he that chastised his son shall have joy of him and shall rejoice of him. Among his acquaintance. So, yeah, man, that's a good thing to sit right here and say, man, you know, man, my son this, my son that. You know, he he's completely in order. He don't give me no slack. You know, I may have to, you know, I, in, the, in the beginning I was doing this, I was doing it. I had to, you know, beat him. But now he, you know, I don't even got to do it no more. He He's completely in order now. You know, you want to you wanna, you wanna be able to have your, your father, because this this is about the, uh, the, 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 the father and the son. That's what this lesson is about. You want to be able to have your father to speak good things on you, man. To teach you uh, righteously, man. To, 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 to feed you that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Matter of fact, let's jump back to Proverbs 23 real quick. Because that's a blessing, man. That's a blessing for you to be able to have that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. It's the book of Proverbs 23. Starting off at verse... Uh, I'm going to read verse 22, then I'm going to jump down to 24. Hawking on to thy father that begot thee. So listen to your father, man. Don't despise your father, man. And we know, you know, I ain't going to say, a lot of Jakes is, you know, wicked. And some Jakes really don't give a damn about their kids. But if you see that your father really cares about you, don't listen to what your mother talk about your father. You know, that's just, you know, the curses and everything else, man. But that's another lesson for another time. 
hearken unto thy father that begot thee, and despise not thy mother when she is old, man. Verse 24. And you should not be despising neither one of your parents when they get old because, you know, you know, you start to deteriorate and, you know, uh, Alzheimer's and all everything else and all this other stuff. You know, you might slip away and, you know, go, go, go some type of way, cranky, be real, uh, 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 uh what is it, uh, churlish, or is it, I don't, if I, that's the right word I'm thinking of, if not, or stern, whatever the word is. Verse 24. The father of the righteous shall greatly rejoice, and he that begotteth a wise child shall have joy of him. Thy father and thy mother shall be glad, and she that bear thee shall rejoice, man, because, you know, you're righteous, man. You're walking correctly in the eyes of your high by Shin Yahweh Shai. Matter of fact, let's, let's let the scripture speak, man, instead of me breaking it down. Sirach 30, back to Sirach 30. I'm going to read verses 3 to 4. He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy. And that's why, man. That's another reason why right there, man. So with you being wise, we teach you, you our customs, our philosophies, our ways, our law, statutes, and commandments. It's going to grieve the, the enemy. It's going to grieve the heathen, man. Because they want you to be out of order. They want you to be disconnected from our power, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, man. And we want you to be connected to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. We want you to be protected and guided by him, man. And also enlightened and edified and embraced by him, man. He that teacheth his son grieveth the enemy, and before his friends he shall rejoice of him. Again, man, you'll be you'll have so much good to say about your son. And as a matter of fact, people will see it. People will probably be saying, Man, I saw your boy such and such. You know, man, that, that that young man, you know, this and that, they'll say nothing. You It will come to a point, your father won't have to say nothing about you, man. People will be saying good stuff about you, man. And that's why your father is important, man, because it starts that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding starts with your father. That's who the Lord is dealing with, man. Not to discredit the women because the women are the first face you see. They're the first ones that nurture you, bring you up to that certain age, and then the father takes takes heed on to you, takes hold on to you, and leads the way into your life to show you how to uh, uh, live as a man. A woman cannot teach you how to be a man. And even in certain avenues and aspects in the female female's life, she needs her father's for, to, for guidance too, man. And the father gives his daughter to a man of understanding. The man is important. Your father is important, man. Verse four, though he die, yet he is as though he were not dead. And why is that? Why is that? The Bible's going to speak it. For he have left one behind like himself. For he have left one behind that is like himself so again look at the picture you see you see the uh, the grandfather to, to, to the little man kissing his son in the forehead and he, then you see the father of the little man's son kissing him in the forehead and what does this represent in the spirit what does it represent in the spirit the father passing that knowledge wisdom, wisdom and understanding and also that love okay that's what that's what that's what you should see you know of course you're going to see that love of course, you're going to see that love. But also with, with, with that being passed is that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man. Let me read this real quick. And Salaki, this had to be long, but it is what it is, man. Okay, we out here working for the Lord, man. Okay? This is the book of uh, Proverbs chapter 17, verse 6. Children's children, okay? The Jake and the Green, man. Okay? Children's children are the crown of old men and the glory of children are their fathers. Children's children are the crown of old men and the glory of children are their fathers. So that, that's, that's, that's a mouthful right there. So that also lets you know that your lineage, your, pedig your pedigree, your family tree starts with your father. Your glory 
comes from your father. Your heritage comes from your father. Your knowledge, your wisdom, your understanding, how to be a man comes from your father. So with an Israelite man applying what Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai told us to do every single bit, 144% comes from your father. Because that's who the Most High, Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai is dealing with. Now let's close out here. It's going to be a little bit lengthy, but we got to read this. This is very, very beneficial for this lesson. <clears throat> This is the book of Ecclesiasticus, also known as Sirach, chapter 3, starting off at verse 1, and it reads this. Hear me, your father. <clears throat> Hear me, your father, O children, and do thereafter that ye may be safe. So take heed to these instructions that ye may be safe. Okay, because what does it say, man? Because we're going to teach you to fear the Lord. And what does the scripture say when you fear the Lord? I'm going to get one scripture. Let me get one script, one preset real quick. This is the book of Psalms. Matter of fact, I'm going to get two. I lied. I'm going to get one real quick and I'm going to grab another one. This is the book of Psalms 34, verse... It's like, yeah. I'm trying to see what I want to Okay, this is the book of Psalms 34, verse 9. O fear, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, ye saints, for there is no want in them, so like for there is no want to them that fear him. Okay? So what you fear in the Lord, there's no want. You're going to be safe. Let me get another preset real quick, and then we'll jump back to uh, Sirach 3. One second. So what you also fear in the Lord, man, look. Listen to this. I'm going to read it straight through because it's, it's self-explanatory. I'm just going to read it straight through. Uh, Sirach 34, verse 13 on down. The spirit of those that fear the Lord, Yahweh, shall live. For their hope is in him that saveth them. Whoso feareth the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, shall not fear nor be afraid. For he is his hope. Blessed is the soul of him. That feareth Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. To whom do he look? Do you hear that? To whom do he look? And who is his strength? For the eyes of the Lord Yahweh are upon them that love him. He is their mighty protection and strong stay, a defense from heat, and a cover from the sun at noon, and a preservation from stumbling. And in help from falling, he raiseth up the soul and lighteneth the eyes. He giveth health, life, and blessing. Self-explanatory, man. So let's jump back from the top again. Sirach 3, verse 1. Hear me, your father, O children, and do thereafter that ye may be safe. And we, we, we gave you one example. Because the first thing we have to do is fear the Lord. And that's just some of the benefits of, the, of us fearing the Lord. Continuing on. For the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, have given the Father honor over the children and have confirmed <clears throat> and have confirmed the authority of the mother over the son. So again, I'm not Xing out the mother, but I just want to focus on the father and the son in this lesson, okay? And the mothers, you know, she's the mother. You, you, you sisters have a very important lot, vocation, uh, a presence, okay? Whatever you want to call it, uh, in, in life. Let's say that in life, and 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 well to do with the man and the children, okay? Verse three: Whoso honoreth his father, maketh an atonement for his sins. Do you hear that? Whoso honoreth his father maketh an atonement for his sins. So what you honor in your father, you make an atonement, a sacrifice for your sins. Okay? And that's pleasing to the Lord. Verse 4. And he that honoreth his mother 
is as one that layeth up a treasure because look, man, again, you must honor father and mother. So it's benefits that come with both of those. But we're going to read on because like, like I said before, this lesson is about the father and the son. And I'm just, I just want to establish to you, to you young men, how important your father is, man. Because you, you got all these songs about my, my, mama, I love you. You know, I love you. Dear mama, this and that. My mama this, my mama that. Everybody always want to thank their mama. Which again, is nothing wrong with acknowledging your, your mother, man. But nobody, what, what, what was the songs that they made for, uh, for the father? Papa was a rolling stone. Wherever he laid his hat, that was his home. Okay, nobody really acknowledges, shit, I can't say really, nobody acknowledges their father, period, man. Okay? Verse 5. Whoso honoreth his father shall have joy of his children. Do you hear that? So if you wonder why, if you're wondering why, if, you, if you're new to this truth and you're wondering why that uh, uh, your kids treat you like shit, you always go through hell with your kids, they, they, they talk shit to you, they disrespect you, okay? They tell you they don't love you, all this other stuff. You ever, this, this is why. Whoso honoreth his father shall have joy of his kids. You didn't honor your father, okay? You boy, what are you about you? You said your kids disrespect you, this and that. Well, guess what, homeboy? I honored my father. I loved my father. My father was in my life until the Most High judged him, okay? I didn't dishonor my father. I loved my father. My father was always there, okay? I got my, matter of fact, I got my father's name, <laughs> Okay, whoso honoreth his father shall have joy of his children. Whoso honoreth his father shall have joy of his own children. And when he maketh his prayer, he shall be heard. Okay, because again, the Most High is dealing with the men. So with you honoring your father, you're going to have joy of your children and your prayers are going to be heard. And also you're going to make an atonement for your sins. Verse six, he that honoreth his father shall have a long life. Again, we, we established this earlier, right? And he that is obedient unto the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, shall be a comfort to his mother. And why is that? Because we're supposed to dwell amongst women with that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Because the woman, you, you, you'll, you'll understand that the woman is the weaker vessel. Okay, and that's going back to 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 7, I believe. Okay, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 7, I believe. Okay, you, you, you'll, you'll deal with your mother with wisdom. Okay? Verse, verse uh, 7. He that feareth Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai will honor his father and will do service unto his parents as masters, man. Okay, so you're not going to be disobedient. You're going to honor your parents. When your parents get old, you're going to take care of your parents. You're not going to disrespect your parents, treat your parents like trash, etc. Okay? Point blank period, man. Honor thy father and mother, both in word and deeds, okay? Both in word and deed, both in commandments and, and, and task, man. Let's say it like that to, to be clear for you, okay? You honor your, your mother and father when you speak to them and, and, and in what you do for them. And when your mother and father speak to you, you honor them. Well, even if they're wrong, you still honor them. Even if they're going off, you still honor them. And whatever they tell you to do, whatever task to do, whatever to do, you do it. That a blessing may come on to thee from them. For the blessing of the father established the house houses of children. But the curse of the mother rooteth out foundations. Because let's, let's say this. Your father be there. Everything will be ordered and structured. Everything will be circulating and moving correctly in the household. But let's say your father passes away. And then your mother wants to change up things. She wants to bring her own twist to it. Okay, when everything was moving correctly when your father was there, when he had already established what needs to be done in the household. Okay? That's that's things going out of order. Okay? Verse I'm gonna read verse 9 again. For the blessing of the father established the houses of children, because your father is given that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Okay, the, the, the orders come from the man. The man is the head of the household, just like Yahweh Shah Hamashiach is the head of the church. But the curse of the mother rooteth out foundations. And, it, and it, with, with the mother being like that, if the father dies, then that obviously means that your mother was out of order from the get-go. That she didn't like the way your father ran stuff and she was just waiting for him to pass away. 
And that's just, you know, one, one type of example. Verse 10, glory not in the dishonor of thy father, for thy father's dishonor is no glory unto thee. So again, I'm going to use myself as, as an example. So my kids dishonoring me is not an honor to the Lord, uh, unto them. They're going to be judged for that. Because what does the Lord say in Exodus? Let's get that real quick. They're going to be judged for that if they don't repent and realize, you know, what they're doing. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 21, verse 17. And he that curseth his father or mother shall surely be put to death. So with your kids bad mouthing you, talking about F that nigga, F that. He ain't, he ain't this, he ain't that. He ain't do nothing for me, all this, all this type of stuff. Hey Amen. What does the scripture say? He that curses father and mother shall surely be put to death. Okay, so Rock chapter 3, verse 10. Glory not in the dishonor of thy father, for thy father's dishonor is no glory unto thee. For the glory of a man is from the honor of his father. And a mother in dishonor is a reproach to the children, man. So why why do you think why do you think one of the reasons why the Lord is uh, 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 judging these Israelite kids left and right, man? Disobedient to parents, man. No honor, no integrity. Okay, no nothing. Verse twelve. My son, help help thy father in his age, and grieve him not. As long as he lives, so yeah, you know, I can I can take heed to this right here because you know when my mom was old and I was taken care of before she passed, you know she gave me headaches, you know she she uh was a uh, uh, her mom was slipping away. Let's say that her mom was slipping away to certain stuff that didn't make sense. It was just like no, what are you talking about? But that's something that we have to endure, man. It, it comes with that old age, man. When you you know your body is you know is, is on its last will and all that. You know, you, the Lord is basically giving you signs like, you know, that time's going to come very soon, you know, and that's just something that we got to take heed to. Yes, it was stressful, but, you know, it's just something you got to deal with, man. Honor your parents, man. Real talk, man. Okay. Uh, My son, help thy father in his age and grieve him not as long as he liveth. And if his understanding fail, okay, like I said, when they mind slip. Have patience with him because it took a lot of patience, man. I'm going to be honest with you, man. My, my, my pops died when I was uh, either like between 7 and 10, if I'm not mistaken, in the uh, car accident. But um, my mother, like I just stated, I took care of her and like, you know, she gave me hell, man. You know, she, she put me through hell, cussed me out, treated me a certain way. But it's one thing I can say at the, uh, the last couple of months before she before she went. She literally told me, which I knew this was of the Most High Yahweh Shemyahshah speaking through her, man, that she appreciated everything that I did for, her, and she was very thankful that I was there. And you know, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna leave it at that, man. I don't wanna, you know, think about my mom's, man. You know, it's been a whole year since she's been gone, man. I miss my mom. But uh, let's continue on. Uh, verse 13. And if his understanding fail, have patience with him. And despise him not when thou art in thy full strength. Okay, I'm gonna jump down. I'm gonna jump down to verse 16. We'll close it out here. He that forsaketh his father is a blasphemer, and he that angereth his mother is a curse of the Most High. So, hey man, like I said, I'm gonna use myself as a prime example. So, my kids blaspheming me, don't wanna get in line with me and everything else, you know. And like I said, man, every brother doesn't have the joy of his kids and have his kids and the truth for it to be able to even have respect from his kids, man. But in my situation, unless the Lord put the spirit on my kids to repent, man, I already know the outcome, man. But again, man, I hope and I pray that this is edifying, uplifting to the truth of Se'aki and Wa'akwaf, man. Honor your father, man. Okay? You know, understand, man, you know, what we go through is of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah, these curses, but everything's being lifted. And, you know, our customs, our laws, statutes, and commandments, everything is being spoke, spoken by the prophets right now, man. So either you, we got the answers for you, and we giving them to you, man. So either you're going to take heed, or you're just going to get judged and come back as a nutsack Israelite in the kingdom, man. And then you'll have everything uh, built in you before you 
come out of that uh, out of that woman's quiver. So again, man, I hope and I pray that this is edifying and uplifting to the truth sincere Aki and Wa Akwa. So with that, I'm just gonna say, Shalom.